hey guys it's amber welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another quarantine weekend in my life vlog is this what you want now or is it because you can't forget I feel like in the past couple of weeks, I've probably started at least like three different vlogs, ended up scrapping them because I didn't like the way that I shot them or whatever. I have definitely started to hit a bit of a creative wall in the midst of quarantine, just like things are feeling harder to accomplish. It's like every day feels like you do a million things and still have a million more things to do. But this weekend, I feel like I'm just going to focus on doing what I can and not trying to make overwhelming big things for me to do so that I feel like I'm not getting things done. So that being said, I imagine that this vlog will have lots of reading, lots of downtime, hopefully some cleaning because my apartment is atrocious right now. But it's Friday. I wrapped up work a little while ago and I've just kind of been laying. I got super tired towards the end of the work day. But on Fridays, I've been kind of keeping this little ritual of going getting a bottle of wine getting some takeout normally i get like pizza or something like really like satiating and weekendy and good and just chilling in the house where else would i be we're in quarantine so i'm going to go pick up pizza and pick up wine and then come back and watch the michelle obama documentary that just hit netflix but I'm also in the middle of a book. I've been reading Normal People by Sally Rooney. Um, they just put this, made this into a, Netf uh, not a Netflix, a Hulu series. And obviously because I'm me, I really wanted to read the book before I watch the series. Um, for the first like 50 pages, I was really liking the book. Wasn't loving, but really liking. Now I'm on page like 150 and... I don't dislike it, but I just want to be done. I feel like it's getting kind of repetitive. Um, and it's the format of the book seems very polarizing. The book doesn't have any dialogue. That doesn't bother me as much as it bothers others, but it is making a very short book move super slowly. But I do want to finish it so I can watch the series and compare the two. And I would love to finish it and watch it this weekend. So I only have like a little over 100 pages left, so that shouldn't be hard. But, you know... Like I said, I'm not making this a super ambitious weekend. It's going to be very low-key. Yeah, I just need to kind of get some energy back. So I'm going to go get pizza and wine. It looks like it's going to start pouring pretty soon. And I don't want to get caught in the middle of a rainstorm. So I will check back in once I have tonight's meal. <laughs> I had to change my shirt because I did end up getting caught in the rain a little bit. It wasn't that bad. And even when the weather sucks, I think that being in the house for two months has made me appreciate even like a 20 minute walk to go pick up pizza. So I will show you the pizza that I got and the wine that I got because both look amazing. Yeah, I'm definitely the kind of person that will buy wine if the bottle is cute and I just thought this was a really cute label. It's a red, I think it's a Spanish red, so. And it was not $50, which is great. I also got this random sparkling juice. Why is nothing in focus? Um, yeah, this random like sparkling, I think it's like an apple juice. Blended with crisp apples and sparkling water. And then, uh, stopped at Pizzeria Vetri. It's my, like a really good philly-based pizza place they have a couple locations and they have one that's like not far from me so i got the crudo pizza which has like mozzarella burrata and prosciutto on it it's perfect all right i'm gonna open this wine have a slice of this pizza blanket on the couch ready to curl up with and yeah this is like such a good end of the work week blah, blah, blah end of the work week ritual because even though I've been trying to do a good job of like keeping like my work at my desk and like live in the living room and have some kind of separation of work and life space 
it is hard like when you're in the house non-stop it it just feels like everything is bleeding together so i think having these little rituals like weekend wind or friday pizza or whatever your little ritual is just helps to kind of add a little bit more balance and normalcy whatever normal is going to look like now um back into our lives so yeah i'm gonna start becoming on netflix and i'll check in with you guys after i'm done to let you know my thoughts <laughs> I just finished watching Becoming and it was so good. I mean, overall, it's not really a documentary. Um, it Meaning that it's not like, in, if you don't want to read the book, you can watch the documentary. It doesn't cover nearly as much detail as the book does. And the book, if you've seen it, is quite long. Oh, let me hide my dirty desk. I told you my apartment's a mess. But yeah, the book goes into very a lot of detail. It's much longer than the film. The film is about like an hour and 20-ish minutes. Um, but it was just nice to reminisce to see more of her impact and her legacy. I cried twice within the first 15 minutes. Just because she has such a heart for people and a heart for black people. And also, black women are just so amazing. I'm just yeah it makes it made me feel very blessed and privileged to be a black woman and to have had the experience of voting for barack obama once i was not 18 the first time he ran and to have had them as my first family and it makes me even more upset that america america and now we have this man in the white house but i think it also reminded me to hope the obamas always remind me to hope and i think that is their greatest gift to the world so definitely watch it worth a watch but absolutely read the book the book is long and it's a lot but i enjoyed it and i also really recommend the audiobook because she narrates her own audiobook now i'm having a second glass of that red it actually is incredibly delicious um i think it's just like a red blend and it's not too dry not too sweet i'm really enjoying it um, I'm about to hop on Zoom. It's my friend's 30th birthday and because we're all quarantining, you know, no one's having birthday parties right now. So we're doing like a Zoom birthday thing for her. Um, so I'm going to log on to that and then I'm going to try and read like 50 to 60 pages. I don't know. I want to I really want to finish this book this weekend preferably by tomorrow so that i can just start the series everyone is saying this is the one instance where the series is better than the book but this book is so polarizing that doesn't actually surprise me so i'm going to log on to zoom read i'll probably check in with you guys before i turn in for the night if not i'll see you guys in the morning but yeah i can't wait to be done with this book and kind of just share my thoughts on it because i understand what it's trying to do and i'm not not enjoying it it's just one of those books where after a certain point it's like it, it's moving very slowly and i really just want to like get to the other side of the issue that we're on so yeah that's my evening wine the obama's zoom birthdays and a little reading so i think that's a successful quarantine weekend oh I also opened this little sparkling water juice thing and it's so good it's like basically a sparkling rhubarb apple juice and it's not too sweet definitely should have grabbed more than one of those but something to add to the grocery list but yeah it's 8 26 this is supposed to start at 8 30 but you know people are gonna be late even in quarantine no one's on time so I'm gonna yeah log on to zoom talk to you guys later all right good morning guys i ended up staying up way too late last night um did zoom with my friends for like an hour or so and then ended up just watching reruns of america's next top model no regrets um but i didn't read it all so i woke up this morning had leftover pizza for breakfast because that's my business i'm grown 
and started cleaning. Like I said, the apartment has just been a quarantine mess. So cleaned the bathroom and then just started reading. So I'm on the couch. I just turned my heat on because it's freezing. Um, trying to get through normal people. I'm on page 167. I think there's like 270-ish pages. Um, so I have a little over 100 pages to go before I'm done. So I think I can finish it this afternoon and then start the series this evening maybe. Um, I'm going to have to pause because I do want to keep like read, breaks a clean, read, breaks a clean. Because I have to get this house clean this weekend too. I can't keep like looking at all this mess. But... I think I'm at a point in the book now where I'm back into it. Things are finally like changing. People aren't just doing the same same behaviors, but like different things. So I'm I'm back in and I'm interested to see how this is going to end because it's not like there's a major like conflict that has to be resolved. It's just kind of like the lives of these people. So, yeah, and I also think I have a book from book outlet coming today or not a book, a package. Um I definitely placed a book outlet order in like 2 a.m. a week and a half ago or so. So yeah, that's my plan for the day. I was going to get up and take a walk because it's really bright and nice out, but my throat is already sore because my allergies are on like 500, so I'm not even trying to deal with that. I don't need any more COVID-like symptoms to start popping up and freaking me out. So yeah, I'm going to get back to the book and I'll check in with you guys later. Hey guys, so it's now... I think like six <laughs> yeah it's 605 um it's been a very leisurely day in these parts just made a random evening coffee because sometimes you know you just need a coffee so since I last checked in I ended up taking a nap one that I did not think I needed but clearly my body is Tired. I don't realize that even though I'm physically in the house like mentally and emotionally I'm still doing a lot and that is making me more tired than usual so a nap was definitely needed but coffee break so I ended up sleeping for probably like two hours um like I said unexpected nap but definitely needed it but I did wake up and finish normal people um I don't know how I feel about the, the ending of the book. I think that only one character got the resolve I think they deserved. And even that was kind of like not really drawn out in detail. For those of you who aren't familiar with the book, Normal People follows two main characters, Connell and Marianne. They go to high school together. They live in Ireland in the UK. Um, Connell is like pretty popular like well-liked kid in high school he has friends everyone seems to get on really well with him and he um is the son of a single mom Lorianne and I thought it was strange that Lorianne and Marianne's names rhyme I'll explain why but he's the son of a single mother his mom Lorianne works as a housekeeper for Marianne's family who's very well off Marianne is unlike Connell very unpopular in school she gets pretty significantly um, bullied, kind of like not physically, but just verbally and emotionally. She's pretty much an outcast. She doesn't have friends. She doesn't go out. There's one part of the book where she mentions like she's lived in this town her whole life, but she couldn't really tell you anything about it because she doesn't really leave her home very often. Um, as we get into the book, we learn that Marianne's family is pretty physically and emotionally abusive towards her. And we also learn that Connell is kind of um dealing with a lot of mental health issues himself a little bit of anxiety probably some depression but doesn't really know how to express this doesn't really know how to describe the experience he's having he just knows that he doesn't seem to quite fit in despite the fact that he's popular and the only place he really finds comfort is when the, it's in this like obscure friendship he has with Marianne the two of them kind of form this new relationship with each other where they're able to confide in one another they spend time with one another but in high school they still act like they don't know each other even though it, be, it starts to become obvious that they clearly do have some kind of friendship they end up going off to the same college together in college Marianne kind of develops a bit more social authority she starts making friends she dates she is kind of being the opposite of everything that she was in high school but never having worked through a lot of those issues that she had with her family and her home life 
she does some things that are pretty self-destructive and at the same time Connell is also kind of having the opposite experience of what he had in high school at college he isn't unliked but he's not popular like he once was in high school and I think that he's continuing to feel like that outcast and also his mental health issues start to really exacerbate when he's put in a situation where he's no longer like bigger fish small pond um but still over the years we follow them i think for over like three or four years so we start following them in january 2011 and we stop following them in 2015 so four years of their life senior year of high school most of college and just kind of how their relationship how they always end up coming back to each other in one way or another so story-wise it sounds like something that was totally up my alley the formatting and just style of the writing i think the writing is really well done it's really beautiful but i could definitely see why this style is so jarring and so polarizing there's no dialogue in the book it can be kind of disorienting sometimes if you're starting a chapter to figure out who you're following um and there are two main characters, but I think you can arguably say there are a lot of characters, a lot of like side characters. And overall, I did enjoy it. I thought the middle was quite slow and it took me a long time to finish it for it to be a book under 300 pages. It took me about a week to finish it just because it was a little slow and I think towards the middle I wasn't as excited to pick it up as I was when I read the first 100 or so pages. Um, I did get really back into it, I think for like the last 40 or 50 pages. Um, I wish there would have been a more climactic or conclusive ending where I felt like the characters were left in a good place but I also think that could be intentional that the author doesn't want us to have everything just done and settled. Um, so overall I did enjoy it. I think I'm going to give this like a 3.5 or 3 star rating just because that middle part like when that part where I just wasn't excited to pick it up. And I do think that there are some things that happen in the book that the characters deserve to have some resolve for that just never gets done. I don't want to spoil anything. Um, if you have read the book and you want to talk spoilers, leave a comment and we can get into it there where people don't have to be spoiled. But I am going to start watching the Hulu show tonight. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to get ready to do now and just drink this coffee. I also need to order something for dinner because the only thing I ate today was that pizza, leftover pizza for breakfast and then like a handful of pretzels. So that's not good, but yeah, so I'm gonna order delivery. That's been another thing I've been doing. I'm not cooking as much on the weekends just because being in the house and every time you want a meal having to go to the kitchen and make it, I also have a sink full of dishes right now because I did clean like my you can't see it but my desk area and the living room and the bathroom all clean so that tomorrow I can just focus on the kitchen and putting clothes away because if I try to do everything in one day crash and burn but yeah this look non-stop cooking in quarantine is becoming a lot so I'm trying to give myself a little bit of relief where I can so I'm going to order dinner and I'm going to start normal people on Hulu and yeah I'll check in with you guys in a bit. <clears throat> Good morning. Happy Sunday. Happy Mother's Day. I've already sent my mom a Happy Mother's Day text, but I need to call her too. So it's around 10:40. I woke up at like 7 something, but then went right back to sleep because I didn't go to bed until like 3 something for whatever reason, even though I told myself I was going to bed early, but that's fine. So this is not the best lighting, but I did want to run through my like quarantine morning skincare routine just because at the beginning of the quarantine stay at home order situation, my skin was like not having it. I had these like dry patches, not like eczema or anything like that, but just I don't even know. I'm just having a weird dryness issue so I switched up a lot of things in my routine and I'm just gonna show you what those are so first things first I did switch my facial cleanser I used the Innisfree hydrating cleansing foam with green tea and I am obsessed with this face wash um, 
I like that it's a, a cleansing foam so it still has a lather but it kind of feels like like a cream would um, if you've ever used like a face wash a face wash that doesn't lather up like soap it feels like that but you still get that lather so I feel like my face is really clean but not stripped I don't have anything on my face right now I, all I did was wash my face with this a little while ago um, so yeah it's really good I think it was relatively inexpensive I don't remember where I got it maybe Sephora but yeah I really like this brand next I follow up with the Innisfree balancing toner with green tea um, I've never used a toner like this it really feels more like a lotion than a liquid toner so if you look at it I don't know if you can tell but it's kind of like a thin creamy lotiony type consistency um, again I'm pretty sure this is relatively inexpensive I think I, I think I got both of these at Sephora it's super moisturizing so I do feel like it is that last step of cleansing and does a good job with that but also replenishes a lot of that moisture in my face which is what I needed so really loving I think that these two together I don't always buy like an entire line from a brand when I'm doing skincare but I think it's worth at least getting these two together next I go in with serums um, this one auto skin goods the go-getter day serum was gifted to me by the brand they, ac they actually gifted me their entire line but this is the only daytime product the other two products are a nighttime serum and a face oil I actually haven't used the face oil yet because I've been using a different one that I've been enjoying but I'm gonna try it out tonight um, but yeah this is their go-getter day serum it's super um, watery but I do really like this I feel like it adds another like small surge of moisture it really makes my skin glow like this is definitely like you can tell that it brightens your skin and really gives you like an extra something and I use the Ordinaries the Buffet multi technology peptide serum this one is much thicker it feels kind of like a gel um, but you can feel it working like it doesn't burn or anything uncomfortable but it definitely like t like firms your skin a little bit definitely adds a little bit of a glow adds a little bit of a moisture surge I feel like it really clings to the moisturizer that I put on top of it so yeah I've been loving this and you could use this day and night and I use probably about like four to five drops in this one same thing maybe like five drops because it's a little bit watery five or six drops and I'll go on top of it with my Glossier bubble wrap I have loved bubble wrap since like forever I probably need to order an, a new one um, this is their eye plumping and lip plumping cream does it do anything to your lips I don't know but it definitely plumps up your under eye if you I really like this when you're traveling because like if when I, there was a time when I was traveling for work a lot and I feel like this just really wakes you up and makes you look like you slept way more than you did so just like one pump under each eye goes a long way and then I've been using the belief the true cream aqua bomb this is a newer product that I've been trying out I don't love the smell it smells kind of like chemically I don't know how to describe it doesn't really have like a, a typical fragrance but the smell doesn't linger which is good um, I love this moisturizer I feel like it goes on like a gel it's very soothing I think this would be great to use in like spring and summer because your your skin is already like warmer you want to cool down you want to feel refreshed and this is so refreshing feeling I've been really liking this hopefully that skincare routine was helpful for anyone else who's struggling with their quarantine skin or just wants to switch their products up I am going to make some coffee now and yeah start doing some work I actually have a good amount of stuff that I need to get done today number one being wash the mountain of dishes that's piled up in the sink that I truly don't want to deal with but such is life um yeah I'll be at this desk for a lot of the day well not a lot I hope yeah, let's make coffee and make a to-do list.
little bit of makeup. I actually have on jeans. I have not had jeans on since probably whatever the last day I went to work was. So I think that was March 15th, 14th, whatever the Friday before my birthday was. It was probably the last time I was in the office, which is crazy. Um, so this is a stack of books that came yesterday from Book Outlet. I actually have another Book Outlet order, some ARCs, and some Book of the Month books. So I'm going to film a book haul. I was trying to edit my quarantine chat, but for some reason, Premiere Pro, which is what I edit with, is not working. So I'm currently updating my computer. Hopefully that fixes the issue. I don't have time for technical issues right now. I need things to just work. There's already enough happening in the world. So I'm going to gather the books. I should check to make sure my main camera is charged because I don't know that it is. <laughs> All right, I'm going to round up the books. And yeah, I wish I was, I had another video planned because I feel like this would be a good day to try to film a few videos, but I guess I'm technically filming this vlog, so let's not overdo it. All right. All right, so I'm officially done all the work stuff I needed to get done today, and it is only 4.42, so it's kind of like around the time I want it to be wrapped. I filmed my book haul. I shot those photos for Instagram and posted them, and stories, which is, I hate waiting until the last day to get something up but I just could not get that done um so now I'm procrastinating doing my dishes who's shocked um and I'm looking out at the mess that is my living room post filming this is the aftermath of filming a book haul <laughs> books everywhere there are like over 25 books I think in this haul so much so I need to put all of these away now the rest of my day is pretty much just going to be cleaning i'm gonna put my audiobook on i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna i have the audiobook of the honey don't list on scribd so i'm gonna put that on while i do the dishes and put these books away and yeah that's pretty much it i've been so weird about my youtube channel lately i feel like i haven't felt super confident in any of the like videos i've sat down to do which is probably why I've started so many vlogs and then not finished them or just scrapped them or not uploaded or edited them. Um, I don't know what it is. I've just been feeling like I want to put so much more into my channel, but being that we're all confined to being inside, it's a little bit challenging and I think that's kind of weighing on me. But the funny thing is, it's like while I feel this way, the channel is still growing. I just hit 900 subscribers um, like late last week, which is unbelievable to me. So yeah it's been weird which is why i was so committed to finishing this vlog just because i think at a certain point you just have to choose done over perfect and i'd rather be posting something you know and showing you guys something even if it's just a simple vlog where all i do is read books and order takeout and watch random hulu shows then have nothing to show you guys at all so i hope you enjoyed this vlog i hope it has at least made your quarantine a little bit less boring or a little bit less stressful i hope that you guys are all safe and healthy and that your families are safe and healthy um thank you so much if you are a medical worker or any kind of essential worker you guys are literally out here keeping the world running and we appreciate you so much i appreciate you so much um yeah i'm gonna clean all these books up and do those god forsaken dishes and yeah just kind of wind down enjoy the rest of my sunday i hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your week this video should be out by wednesday if all goes well i just uploaded another quarantine chat so that video is live on the channel so you know i've still been hitting my upload every single week in quarantine goal which i need to celebrate because that's not easy and i should be proud of it Anyway, um, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel. I do post new videos every single week, whether it's a vlog like this, a book haul, book recommendations, productivity tips, creativity tips, all of that jazz is on this channel. Um, I'm really going to try to get it together and edit the footage from my last trip to Paris. 
because I do want to kind of compile all that and have that memory on the channel. Um, and yeah, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Share it with a friend if you think they'll like it. And I will see you in the next one. Is this what you want now? Feels like you're looking for something.